Okay guys, today I'm going to take you through the incline dumbbell chest press. So we want to bench on an incline position, just like this. When we come back, a good thing to do is well, first to get a weight that's good for you. You can use your knees to help you get it up, just so you're not causing any injuries to the shoulders. I want to be rolling my shoulders back, so back and down, chest as high as possible. That's going to make you, it's going to make your back arch. So the next thing I want you to do is activate your core and pull your belly button to the seat. Okay, so now we've got a nice sturdy platform to lift from. My wrist is nice, nice and straight. I'm holding my shoulders back and down, so I'm activating my lats, I'm squeezing my rhomboids, I'm having my shoulder blades together, and now I'm pressing up. And all I'm thinking about doing is elbows coming apart, elbows coming together. I'm not necessarily thinking about lifting the weight, I'm just thinking about opening my elbows and closing my elbows. So I'm also initiating the movement from my chest. So I'm trying to not use my shoulders, I'm just trying to use my chest muscles. So the first thing I see going wrong with this movement is the, the shoulders rolling forward when the press is being done. So you can see that looks very different than that. So I know this from experience that this is going to cause injury in the long term. If you're allowing your shoulders to roll forward, it's going to um, create impingement in the shoulders. It's not good. So what we want to be doing is making sure activating our lats, our shoulders going back and down when we're pressing the movement. That's the first thing. Second thing is allowing the back to arch too much so that uh, there's a gap underneath. So what we want to be doing is <clears throat> activating our lats, pushing our belly button in, squeezing our core, making sure that we're nice and tight when we're doing the movement. Another thing I see is the wrists being bent back when you're doing the movement. We want them to be nice and straight rather than bent. That's another good thing to think about. So another thing I see is usually when the lats aren't engaged, just the elbows can flare out and we can come too far. So when the lats are engaged, normally it holds the holds the elbows into a good position. So whenever you're using a 45 degrees angle, up and down, just like that. So the movement's exactly the same, whether it's a flat bench or it's an incline. It's exactly the same process. Shoulders back and down, pressing up and down like this. So guys, that's the incline dumbbell press and the flat dumbbell press. If you need any help with anything like this in the gym, feel free to speak to one of the personal trainers who will be happy to help.